So one thing I'm starting to see more of these days, and I'm glad to see it, I see headlines and I see videos and the caption will be something to the nature of, is MAGA finally waking up? And when you uh, read the article or you click on the video, it will be someone telling you how they used to be in the MAGA cult and how they started to see through it and how they started to wake up from the hypnosis they were under and they started to see the light. And I'm glad to see those stories. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see those stories. I hope we see more of them. I encourage more people who are out there that are that got caught up in all that, that are feeling like you need to come out of it. I, I encourage more of you to do so. I want to see more of that. But Donald Trump and the MAGA ideology is not going to go away just because people starts waking up. That's not what it's going to take. What it's going to take for this to go away and for this to one day just be a bad memory that we sit and study and hope it never happens again. The only way that happens is that whatever reasonable people is left in the Republican Party and whatever reasonable, independent, and moderate people are out there, they're going to have to completely cut ties with Donald Trump, throw him completely under the bus, and let the justice system take care of Donald Trump. Because as long as they align themselves with him in any way, they're giving it credibility, and it's going to keep growing, and it's going to get stronger. In order for it to start losing its power, they have to cut ties with it. Now, I realize the Republican Party is in a rock and a hard place. I realize they're in a no-win situation here because they can't win with him and they sure as hell can't win without him. And they're trying not to piss off his base. So they're trying to walk this fine line of not pissing off his base. You're going to have to piss off his base. And then if you would piss off his base, cut all ties from him, and then you actually got behind a reasonable, more moderate candidate that would bring some new ideas to the table, you guys might stand a whole lot better chance. You would stand a whole lot better chance of winning. Now, I don't want to be the political analyst and the strategist for the Republican Party here, but have you ever been in a situation where you've been on the outside looking in and you're like, I think I see a way out for that person. I think I see a way out of this. I know people in my life who I've seen get themselves into really bad situations and they couldn't figure out how to get out of it. And I would be over here going, you know, I, I think here's a way that you could get out of this. I realize that the MAGA Republicans, they don't really even, at the end of the day, they don't, they don't care about Republican or Democrat. They care about Donald Trump. That's it. That's all they want to see. I get that. But to the Republicans out there, they're going to have to really ask this question and say, do we want to continue to take our party down with this sinking ship? Because as long as they even slightly entertain it, they're giving it credibility. As long as the mainstream media continues to talk about it, they're giving it credibility. If they would walk away and get behind a more moderate candidate, they would probably have a much better shot in this world. If their, if their actual morals and values that they love to talk about all the time, if they truly have those, well, first of all, they wouldn't have supported him to start with, but I'm just saying if they truly had those, they would care more about those than pissing off his base. They have no problem pissing off other people. They piss off people all the time. And the only reason they're not trying to piss off MAGA is because they're afraid of losing. But you're going to continue to lose with them, and as you do, you're going to drag the party down even further, and you're going to lend credibility to MAGA. And again, I'm very glad to see people waking up. I'm glad to see people getting out of it. I hope more people do. And eventually, yeah, if more people, if more people woke up, yeah, eventually it would go away. But it's not going to go away as long as people are giving it credibility and people are figuring out they can cash in and make money off of it and grift off of it. As long as that possibility is out there, people are just going to keep milking it. They're going to milk it for everything it's worth. It ain't no different than, than watching them do that here where I live. They've milked the coal industry to death. They'll milk it till the very last drop of coal is here. That's how it's always been. That's how it's always going to be. And that's what they're doing with MAGA. They're just milking it. But in doing so, the real issues at hand is being forgotten. Everybody wants to talk about woke. Everybody wants to, you know, you've got people on the left even going off about, oh, the woke mob has got out of hand. No, what we're trying to do is wake people up to the real problems that are going on. And whatever your issue is, whatever issue you have that you're passionate about voting for, Donald Trump don't have the answer to that question. You, you, you may 
not agree with Joe Biden on everything. I don't agree with Joe Biden on everything. But Donald Trump does not have the solution to whatever problem you're having right now. He's only trying to dig himself out of this hole, and he's dragging everybody down with him. I'm glad to see people waking up, but the rest of the Republican Party is going to have to face up to the fact that they're doing more damage to this country than they are good when they continue to hitch their wagons to that ridiculous Trump train.